Hey, it's Brigzar. Have you heard the news? The Lego Group is struggling. The profits are plummeting. Does this mean the end of the Lego company as we know it? Will we not get the great sets that we've been expecting and anticipating? Will this be the end? Well, probably, definitely not. But Lego has announced that their profits are down about 3% from this time last year. That's their net profits. Uh, so after years and years, like 10 years in a row of double-digit double digit growth, they have seen a decrease in 3%. In this video, we're going to discuss the top 10 reasons why Lego is down in 2017. So let's get right to it. Number 10 on my list of why I think Lego Group's profits have plunged is the Lego Batman movie. Why would I say that? It's a very entertaining movie, but I think all the marketing and everything that went behind it, I don't think, my perception anyway, is that it did as well as the original the Lego movie. I think also the sets that came out with that, while initially I was really excited, I love the sets, actually still love all the minifigures they've come out with, I think some of the sets are extremely overpriced and not very useful. I mean, I don't care for the like the the giant Batmobile, the Batwing. So there was just some things about it that I did not personally think were that great. And I think uh, it, they may have invested more in it than than didn't get the return they expected. Number nine on my reason is the Lego Dimension series. This series while we love the game love that you can interact with the game the way you can with the figures those dimension packs are ridiculous they're glorified minifigure packs that you end up paying so many more times than what it's worth that i don't we just don't see the reason i don't even know how it's lasted this long and they're coming out with new ones i mean who's going to pay 30 dollars for these packs or 15 dollars for the packs You've seen previously the Chima and the Ninjago and all the other little uh, uh, Dimensions packs just on sale at five below for like a dollar. I mean, it's just crazy. Number eight on my list is where are the trains? They're not making any trains. I mean, if you go to a Lego convention, a brick show, a brick fair, a brick fest, one thing that you are going to see is trains. Lego trains will be everywhere, but not at the Lego store. They just have four-year-old train sets. Come on, give us a new train. How about it? Number seven on my list is the Juniors line. Uh, the new Juniors car sets were so inferior to the previous release of the Disney cars. I, I couldn't stand it and it's like they're taking a step more towards Jack Stone and the four juniors that was such a colossal mistake that Lego made back in the day so I, I don't understand the juniors and the way, the way they've been doing those sets number six on my list is they haven't made a roller coaster yes we had the friends roller coaster that thing was that was pretty sad, but we want to see a Lego roller coaster. Ever since Lego first teased a roller coaster in 1966, we haven't got one. <laughs> Come on, Lego. Make us a roller coaster. That's what we want to see. Number five, and it's kind of an easy one, and there's a lot goes into it, and not everything is as people think, but it's the price. It's one of the... everybody. Price is one of people's favorite things to complain about with Lego sets. And of course there are so many factors that go into the price. They can't, you know, they got to get license and things like that for the superheroes, Batman, whatever it is. Uh, but sometimes the price in sets doesn't make any sense. There's so many sets they've made that the price was ridiculous for what you got in the set. So, uh, I can see why people complain about the price and it's just going up and again it's sometimes it's factors beyond the control of the Lego group but other times it's just I think bad design and sets and speaking of that let's get to number four 
it is it's poorly designed large sets like the bat cave now i was really super excited for the bat cave but a lot of people i heard complain about it i mean we love getting the 60s batman batmobile and things like that that were in that set but it was a very big set that really i think was a fail and the fact that the lego has it in the stores really marked down pretty good uh, sh shows that it was overpriced and maybe didn't do as well as they expected you know again they're trying to deliver on things that we want but it just wasn't what we were willing to pay for <laughs> and then another example of that is the uh, ucs hoth set that one was really hated on by people, mainly because it seemed to be a lazy <laughs> attempt at a UCS set. So uh, I won't even go into all that. Um, you didn't get a lot new with that set. I think that's one of the main, main reasons it didn't do well either. Number three is kind of an international thing. It's either uh, the Brexit, the uh, you know the UK coming out of the European union or it's lego going into china uh, with <laughs> things like this they, they affect the market uh, so the uk coming out of, of the european union i think can affect prices and people buying things because prices go up and lego going into china can affect things because now it's making it so easy for crooked companies like lepin and it just making it so much easier for those companies to steal uh, things that lego makes and reissue it and then people so ignorant in the world on ebay buying this garbage and that affects lego's bottom line number two on my list of the reasons why profits have plunged for the lego group is where is bionicle I don't even like Bionicle. I am not a Bionicle fan, but I appreciate the Bionicle community. I appreciate the Bionicle fans, and I recognize the significance of Bionicle in the LEGO history. They made a pitiful attempt at bringing Bionicle back, only to have it fail again. Get some of these people in the Bionicle community, have them give their input into the design. Go to that TTV channel and have them design your sets. I guarantee you, if they have input into the designs of Bionicle, the theme will do better than it has. Bionicle is one of the most important themes in LEGO history, whether any of us want to admit it or not. So I think that's a big reason why the profits have plummeted for the Lego group. And the number one reason, and this goes without saying, Brickzar has stopped buying Lego for the rest of 2017. News of this, people had their time machines and they went forward and they saw that Brickzar was not going to be buying Lego at the end of 2017, so that affected uh, Lego's profits at the beginning of 2017. You buying that? Anyway, tell me what you think. Is this all a bunch of hoopla over nothing? I mean, just because the profits plunged didn't mean they didn't make a profit. They're still doing quite well. But I would feel bad if they have to lay off the number of people that they're talking about, the 1,400 people. And before you put it in the comments below, it's, this is not because of their shareholders, because Lego is a privately owned company. <laughs> There are no stock investors to worry about. It's just the family and the family-owned business and the people that work for the company that make the profits. That's who is at concern here. And we hate to see some of those good employees get laid off because of a slight decline in profits. Anyway, tell us what you think in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next video. Sprigzar. Bye.